Time to dive into yet another beer from Firestone Walker Brewing Company out of Paso Robles, California, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And what beer do we have from them today? We have another beer from their Leo vs. Eurus series. It is Wookus. Wookus is what? A black D.I.P.A. And you're saying, hmm, this rotating serving that clocks in at 8.2% ABV and between 50 and 100 IBUs sounds like a beer that I remember before. That's right, maybe Wookie Jack? Hell yes, because this beer, I guess, is sort of kind of inspired or built upon the base of Wookie Jack. The only thing I know that this has in common with Wookie Jack is that it has rye malt in it. Wookie Jack back in the day, I don't know if they ever put did it in 12 ounce bottles, I don't remember. I always had it in bombers, but whatever now it's a can so you know what time to crack the top on this exceedingly fresh beer get it in the ipa glass because it's black but it's an ipa ah that sounds awesome i haven't had one of these for a while you know what enough waffling on let's crack the top ah and get to pouring hell yes it's been a really long week i have totally earned this beer and uh, maybe i didn't no yes i did earn this beer yes oh look at that damn this has got a lot of head to it and i was not pouring it that aggressively however this is a nucleated glass so it's going to produce head whether you like it or not so let's talk about the appearance it's a really really dark brown i guess garnet color it probably looks black definitely to you guys on the camera but there is some red glints coming through the stem of the ipa glass here we've got a solid four finger head because i poured it like an animal and it's got a lot of carbonation i can see tons of bubbles coming up in the bottom Pretty much super tightly packed bubbles, a little soap sudsy here and there. They are that sort of chocolatey kind of color. When I swirl it, if I can get the puck to move at all, we're definitely going to get glass lacing for sure. We're already getting it. And there is a good amount of alcohol legs tearing down the inside of the glass there. But look at that bad boy. It looks beautiful in the glass. But ah, since this is a hop forward thing that's got a kind of malt action going on too, since it's a black DIPA, it better smell good too. So let's dive in for the aroma. Mm, man, a big hit of coffee and pine all at the same time. Mm, spicy rye malt, citrus. Mm, nice roasted notes. This really reminds me of uh, Wookie Jack, but amped up and more bright in the hop department than I remember that beer being. Mm, a real, real nice melange. It smells like coffee and orange juice at the same time. Wow. Almost like a coffee IPA in some ways, but this one's got color to it, unlike the coffee IPAs. Mm, this smells freaking delicious, man. Not super complex. You know, you got pine, resin, dank, citrus, coffee, roast, yum, smalty action, and spicy rye. Hell yes, let's dive in. Cheers! Mmm, yum. Hell yes, man. It's been a while since I've had a black BIPA. Mmm, awesome glass lacing. Like I thought, wow. Really, mm, nice roast in there. Up at front, you get that hit of pine. Like you're, if you had your eyes closed and took that first drink, you get a nice hit of pine, citrus zest, mm, some dankness, and then in the middle, the coffee and the roast and the spiciness from the rye starts to play. That spiciness I get at the side of my tongue. Man, the 8.2% is completely hidden. Super smooth. Actually crushable at 8.2%. No warming in the chest. And I'm drinking this, you know, kind of like dungeon temperature. It's probably like about like 50 down here, which I think is probably about the right temperature for this. Mmm, man. Nice roasty notes. This is a real black DIPA. It's not a hopped up porter or hopped up like American stout. It is definitely a black DIPA. And, you know, Wookie Jack was that too. But I think this is more towards the IPA spectrum than Wookie Jack was. Wookie Jack had more roasty notes and maybe a little more rye than this does, but just the same, super, super tasty. So, boom, let's talk about grading this beer. At time of recording, 
Beer Advocate gives this beer a 4.36 out of 5. So that's definitely into their, I'd say, super high A- minus to A range for sure. And Untapped is giving this 3.96 caps, which I guess would be mm, a high A-, minus, verging on A, somewhere around there. Let me take one more taste. Really tasty beer, well put together, <laughs> epic glass lacing, well hidden. I'm going to go, um, I think I'm going to go 90, 94 on this. A level for sure. And you know what? I would drink this beer again. It's a really solid black DIPA. I've had others I've liked better, but this is very well made. And it's another another great installment into the, you know, Leo versus Euro series that they're doing here. Lion versus Bear, you know, kind of like on the can here. Anyways, but super tasty beer. So, have you had Firestone Walkers? Wookus? If you've had Wookus, let me know what you know because I like to quit broco and the back and forth. If you have good memories of, you know, Wookie Jack, let me know about those too. I like that beer as well. That was an awesome beer. Anywho, oh yeah. If you could do me a big favor and also is, you know, kind of think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement, and it would be exceedingly cool if you could rate, comment, subscribe, and if you get around to it, smash that like button because that, along with only one pounder, that's all I'm going to need of Wookus tonight to put my big beer drinking happy face on. So the next DJ's Brew Tube, I got nothing but a hell of a bunch of Wookus drinking love for you, and you know what's coming for you by now. That's right, a big ass peace out!